Welcome back to Sammy J Reads. I'm Sammy and this is a place in which I read a book, I review it, and I hopefully save you from reading a terrible book. This week's book review is going to have adventure, thrill, laughs, humor, and assassination. And that book is Mr. Brent Weeks, The Way of Shadows. Yeah. The Way of Shadows focuses on a young teenage boy by the name of Azoth. Azoth becomes the first and only apprentice of the famous wet boy, Durzo Blint. We then watch Azoth grow up to become the next famous wet boy under a new name, Kyler Thaddeus Stern. Before we begin, Mr. Weeks uses the term wet boy as someone who is better than just the normal assassin. For an example, an assassin is someone who has a target and every now and then you can miss your target. However, a wet boy is someone who has a debtor instead of a target. And what that means is that, say, you're the debtor. That means you're going to die. There is no way you're going to live. The wet boy's going to kill you. He's not going to miss. So don't become a debtor. That, ugh. Additionally, when you compare the wet boy to the assassin, wet boys have enhanced abilities. He's stronger, faster, and they basically have an easier time hiding in shadows overall. This really helped me set the book apart from any assassination book I have read because it mixes assassination with a form of mysticism, which created for a very unique read. It added an element that took an assassin who we already know is someone that you can't really beat, but can be beaten at times, and put them onto the next level. If you were to ever take, let's say, Ezio from Assassin's Creed and put him up against Durzo, Blint, uh, Durzo's gonna win. Hands down, he's gonna win. I, I don't care what you say, he's gonna win. The characters in this novel were another enjoyment of mine. They were either quirky in one way, or they had a special talent that I really enjoyed. Kyler is a continual laugh throughout the entire book as he makes his comments towards sex and his own sexual innuendos, which I personally enjoyed, and the first thing I highlighted in this book was one that was a sexual innuendo of his. Durzo Blint pops garlic cloves like an addicted smoker to cigarettes. Mama Kay is in one of the highest positions of the city's dark backbone. Is it plausible for a city to have more than one backbone? I, I think so, yeah. Because you, you could have like the, the people who are like the politicians and then you can have sort of like the dark side of it that you don't really know but you don't want to mess with. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say yeah, you can have more than one backbone. Yeah. Ellen continues her life with a skip in her step, a bright smile that warms everyone's heart and a sparkle in her eye despite her very dark past. And finally we have Logan who is learning how to become independent as he's also learning how to become the next head of his house. All of these characters end up actually having a lot to do with Kyler's new life as an assassin, and they also add quite a bit of spice to anything that's currently happening. I also really liked how Mr. Weeks allows the story to build off of itself. Instead of just placing things here and there, it just grows. You get introduced to a small area and it just grows from there. There were times that I was able to guess what was going to happen next and there were other times that I was basically surprised about what happened next and I really like that. I like having some insight to know, oh this is going to happen next and then in another area it's like, oh this is going to happen, oh wait, no that's not happening next, oh. do like it though. Very, very much. Well done Mr. Weeks, well done. As I mentioned before, I really enjoyed how the story builds off itself and that adds on to the world. I don't end up discovering everything until Kyler discovers it, which really, really helped me. The reason why this helped me so much was because if I'm being told of places that I have not gone to or that the characters have not gone to, I don't really know where everything is and I become more concerned with geological locations of places than the story. Mr. Weeks, you did a great job of just making it a nice slow expansion wherever Kyler went I went with him and I learned it then and I did not have to sit there and think okay so we've got the city here and we've got this place over here and we've got this place up here I guess because it's north of this place I didn't have to do that so thank you I did not have to worry about my geological locations with this entire story it was fantastic finally the cover art for this novel is phenomenal I love it it grabbed my attention and it held my attention. I first saw it and was like, ooh, that looks like a good book. However, I was once told that if you have a fantasy novel that has amazing cover art, it's actually an indicator that the novel itself is terrible. To my friend who told me that, um, 
hate to tell you this, but you are wrong because this has phenomenal artwork and it's a great story. So how about you stop saying that? Would I recommend this book to anyone? Yeah. I would say you need to read it if you have not read it. If you love assassination stories, you will love this book. If you love playing the Assassin's Creed game, you will love this book. If you enjoy having both action and laugh at the same time, you will enjoy this book. Because Mr. Weeks, you have great humor. You made me laugh so much during this book. Ladies, if you are more geared towards guy novels like assassination and you liked action instead of more of a love-focused plot, you'll enjoy this book too. So that's it on Sammy J Reads, and if you have read this book, go ahead and comment down below or leave me a video response on what you loved, you hated. If you have a book that you want me to read, review, do the whole shebang, go ahead and comment down below. You can go to my Goodreads profile, which I've linked down below as well, and let me know there. I currently have 11 books on the list, and I am currently reading The Name of the Wind, which will be finished probably in the next week since I will be done with all my sewing projects by today. If you like this review and you want to see more, go ahead and click the subscribe right up above. I post every Thursday with a new book review, and yeah, pretty simple as that. So that's it on Sammy J. Reese, and I'll see you guys on the other side of the book. Bye! I'm going to go ahead and read the last paragraph of the acknowledgments that Mr. Brent wrote. Mr. Weeks wrote. <laughs> um, yeah. I highlighted it because it was amazing. Last, thanks to you, curious reader, who reads acknowledgments. You do realize the only people who usually read acknowledgments are looking for their own name, right? If you're quirky enough to read acknowledgments without knowing the author, you and I are going to get along fine. <laughs> Picking up a book by an author you've never read is a leap of faith. Here. Here's my offer. You give me a couple pages and I'll give you a hell of a ride. Well, Mr. Weeks, I'll give you those pages once I have my story figured out. Because currently it's just a mishmash of characters and ideas. So, yes, it might be a little while. But I will do that, yes. <laughs>